Wrightsville kids, I'm Pastor Julia. I'm wondering today, do any of you have a pet at home? Maybe you have a dog or a cat or a hamster or a guinea pig or a fish. Well, growing up, I always had dogs. I had a couple different dogs and I also had a guinea pig. Today, as a grown up, I have a cat. And I love pets. It's so fun to have an animal in your house, and especially if you have a cat or a dog, sometimes it can sit on your lap and make you feel really great and warm and fuzzy. Isn't that awesome? But, you know, having a pet is a big responsibility, too. When I was a kid and I had a dog, I often had to help go take my dog out for a walk. And sometimes I even had to clean up after it when it was kind of stinky. And it was my job to feed my dog to make sure that they had the food and the water that they needed. And sometimes I had to help my mom take my dogs to the vet so that they could be healthy. Now, tell me this. Would you ever have a pet and then not take care of it? Can you imagine having a dog but never putting food in its bowl? Or never taking it out for a walk? Or never cleaning up after it? No, because you love that dog and you want to take care of it. It's your responsibility. Well, let me tell you something really cool. And the whole beginning of the whole world, God told us, humans, that we had something called dominion over the whole creation. And what that means is responsibility. God gave us a responsibility to take care of the whole earth. So just like we and our families maybe take care of a dog or a cat, we actually have a responsibility to help the whole earth. So it's our job to make sure that the earth is safe and taken care of. I know that can feel a little bit overwhelming, but I want to give you a couple of ideas on what you could do to help take responsibility for the earth even today. Maybe the next time you're out for a walk, you might notice a piece of trash on the ground. Well, why don't you pick it up and put it in a trash can or even better, a recycling can if there is one. And you can practice things like using both sides of a sheet of paper when you're drawing so that you use less paper to use the most of the resources that you have. There's all kinds of ways that you can take care of the earth just like you take care of animals that you love. I hope today you will come up with some ideas and maybe talk to your parents about ways that you can use your responsibility well. Let's say a prayer together. Dear God, thank you for making us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for giving us responsibility to take care of the earth. Please help us to do this special job. We love you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.